In this video, we will install the V-groove bearings and the idler sprockets on the gantry sides and add the rails to the table. We will start by adding one rail to the top of one of the sides of the table. Line the rail up to the edge of the table to establish a straight edge. At one end of the rail, drill a hole through the table using the first pre-drilled hole on the rail. Make sure to keep the drill as vertical as possible. To minimize splitting at the bottom of the table, use a scrap piece of wood against the underside of the table where the hole will be drilled. Use quarter inch screws at one and a half inches in length and standard nuts to fasten the two rails together. I am using a 3 8 inch drill bit to enable a great amount of adjustment if necessary. As you are fastening the rail to the table, either use a straight edge to keep the rail as straight as possible, or from one end of the table, use your eye to focus down the rail to determine the straightness and adjust as necessary. Attaching the V-groove bearing to the gantry side uses the same configuration as the bearings on the ZY plate. The thin washer is always between the bearing and the larger washer. The screw at this bearing location is 3 8 at 2 inches in length. The screw at the next bearing location is 3 8 at 3 inches in length, since this screw will also hold one of the idler sprockets on the other side of the gantry. Before adding the sprocket, add a nut to serve as a spacer. For the next sprocket, you will need a 3 8 inch screw at 2 inches in length. Repeat the same steps for the other gantry side. To attach the rail to the other side of the table, you will need to use the gantry to help align the rail. Move the top rail to the table edge and move the gantry so the bearings of the gantry are resting on the fastened rail and the other bearings are resting on the loose top rail. As you drill, make sure the gantry is near the drilling location so the rail is automatically positioned and the rail is flat against the table.
Add the lower bearings using the 3 8 inch screw at 2 inches in length. Pull the bearings as close to the rail as possible and tighten the nut. Use a large washer between the nut and the gantry side. 